do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it now. Play events. Hello, Gordon. Hi. Um, he's here, basically surrounded by retro games. He's bringing a bit of retro classics to the modern day uh, generation consoles. Do you feel gamers need to enjoy retro games to fully appreciate what what they're playing here today? Uh, yeah, I think uh, this is the uh, this is the heritage. This is why video gaming is still popular today because of the classics that we used to play back in the day. They they set the benchmark for what we what we're seeing now. We've just been playing sensible soccer. I'd, I'd still rather pick up Sensible Soccer now than let, play the latest Pro Evo or FIFA, so it just shows that they, these games, they live on. I'd, I actually played Sensible Soccer for the first time a few months ago, for, well, for a long time. I used to play it when I was little. I forgot how hard it was. It's a <laughs> it, it is a hard game, but once you get the knack of it, there are, there are a little a few tricks and tips that you can, uh, you can pick up, and some players can be really good at it. But yeah, it's, it's a difficult game to master. Um, do you have any preference to sort of retro consoles? Do you have a favourite? Yeah, yeah my, my favourite is the ZX Spectrum computer. So but back when games were loaded from tape, playing uh, Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy, 3D Death Chase, they're, they're kind of my, uh, my era. Um, in terms of consoles, uh, it's, a, it's a bit boring, but I love the old PlayStation, so I'm, 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 I am a big fan of the original PlayStation. Um, and uh, only recently started getting more into the NES. Um, not not really uh, something I ever played back in the day. So I'm really getting back into the uh, the old Mario's and those kind of games. I've had to play a bit of catch up with retro games because I, I was sort of a, a late bloomer. I played some Mega Drive at my friend's house, but it was the PlayStation One when I really got into gaming. Um, do you want to just uh, explain to the camera a little bit about sort of replay and, and things Absolutely, like that? Absolutely, yeah. Um, well, we're, we're replay events, and we um, we organise uh, video gaming events and shows similar to, to what's, what you're seeing here, but with, a, with an emphasis on, on the retro and classic systems. We do also bring in all of the modern stuff as well. Um, somewhere like Eurogamer, there's no point in us bringing PS3s and, and Xboxes because that, that's being done to death on the rest of the floor. But uh, we have a, a big show in Blackpool that we're advertising today. That's, um, that's a, a, a large scale expo that is it's a celebration of gaming. It's all, uh, all ages, all genres. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't pigeonhole anything. Um, and it's basically the 70s right up to the, the brand new modern stuff. Um, and it's a weekend of just come along and play games. Uh, it's very different to this kind of thing where people are, uh, the companies are here to tell you what you can buy next and to, to try and uh, capture your attention and, and get your pounds. What we're there for is for you to play games. There are, there are no queuing systems. You just sit down, play a game, move on to the next one or um, change the game yourself and stick something else in. Um, and there are hundreds of systems that you won't get a chance to play elsewhere. Um, and we, we even have, we'll have 50 pinball machines there uh, and, and up to about 100 arcade machines. So, you know, it's an absolute... Do, do you need to take some coins with you? No, everything at the event is, is on free play. Um, you know, you pay for your tickets, so why should you have to pay for the games once you get in there? So, uh, yeah, everything's on free play. Good stuff. One last question, something we always ask on Blast Process, and that's what did you prefer, the SNES or the Mega Drive? Um, I have recently started getting into the Nintendo stuff, but I've always been more of a more of a Mega Drive than a than a SNES. So that's that's another result for the Mega Drive there. I think. Thank you very much for talking to right, us. Thank you.